Hi there, my name is Eduardo, and I'm a member of the Data School's 25th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use layout containers to display the header elements of your dashboards. This will help you organize and visualize those elements more quickly and efficiently. Let's jump into Tableau and get started. As an example for today's video, I'm going to use my CV dashboard. And in particular, I'm going to focus on the header section here on top. As you can see when I hover over, this section is made of many different elements. In particular, a horizontal container containing an image object, a text object, a blank object configured as a line separator, another blank object, a vertical container that contains a text object, a horizontal container containing three different sheets, and another blank object. Outside of it, another blank object. This is also visible from the layout view in the item hierarchy. Now what I'm gonna do is creating another dashboard and start building the header section from scratch. So I'm gonna click here to create a new dashboard. I'm gonna adjust the size to the same as my original dashboard. Then I'm gonna select floating and drag and drop a vertical container on the canvas. Then I'm gonna click layout and adjust the position of X and Y to zero as well as the size to the same as the original dashboard. This will allow me to drag and drop elements in the dashboard without creating any tiled objects here in the item hierarchy. I'm also gonna select tiled and drag and drop a blank object within the vertical container. This will help me distribute the elements within the container more easily. Now I'm gonna drag and drop a horizontal container here on top. And I'm gonna adjust its height to 200. Then I'm gonna drag and drop a blank object within the horizontal container, as well as an image object. From here, I can choose the image I prefer, as well as choose the options to fit and center the image. However, for this example, I already have my image object in the original dashboard, so I can copy and paste it onto my new dashboard. I'm gonna click and hold shift to drag and drop the image into container. Now I can go to my original CV and copy and paste the text from the text object. So that I can now drag and drop a text right next to the image and paste. I can also adjust the size of the text object to the same as this one, width of 425. I can click here and edit width. Now I can go to dashboard, drag and drop a blank object here. Since this will serve as our separator line, we can adjust the layout and choose a background of a different color. For instance, this one. Since we want a line, I'm gonna edit the width to 10 and click OK. Why 10? Because we have to account for the outer padding here, which has four pixels on the left and four pixels on the, on the right. So a total of eight pixels, which will display in 10 pixels object, a line of two pixels. Now I'm gonna drag and drop another blank object right next to our line. And I'm gonna adjust its width to that of this object in the original dashboard, 73. Left click, 
edit width 73. Perfect. Now I'm going to drag and drop a vertical container and do the same thing. Double click here to select the vertical container, layout, and width. Now I'm going to drag and drop a blank object within the vertical container, as well as a text object here on top. I'm going to fix its height and drag and drop a horizontal container within the vertical container here. I'm going to edit its height. And drag and drop my sheets. I can right click and hide the title for each and every one of my sheets. Double clicking here, I can also choose the option to distribute contents evenly. Finally, I'm going to adjust the height of this blank object as well as the width of this one. However, for this one, I need to account for the general padding of my original dashboard. 15 on the sides and six on top and bottom. So double click here, double click again, deselect all sides equal, and I can change my values. Perfect. Now the header elements of my dashboards are now distributed in layout containers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found these useful and feel now more confident in using layout containers. Please check out the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.